फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नमस्ते मेरा नाम आइजक दोरू आपसे मिलकर खुशी है आई थिंक इज अ प्रिविलेज to work with the federation inside we have very young and talented staff the passion is there and more than that sometimes as a professional level the passion is not enough the knowledge and the professionalism the making decision process it's very important and uh, i'm happy that i'm surrounded and uh, my team in the federation is very young energetic dynamic they want to improve passionate excellent knowledge in different aspects of the game and i'm happy to to be surrounded by that uh, excellent staff that they have played football that's the most important thing and it's easy to communicate and they make the, the, the making decision process will be uh, simple and clear and efficient thank you very much the namaste to everyone yeah. yeah yes but i have feeling like i've been here 5 years already <laughs> that's how much i have read about indian football indian culture indian people about the leagues about the things happening here and pretty much i know already all my players by the name so it's it's quite good for the for the beginning and first few days working with them uh i'm overwhelmed with the chance given by technical committee and uh, the board of AIFF for this chance and i took this chance because i see india as a sleeping giant in football i see many and good opportunities here for youngsters who are coming and knocking on the door of indian senior team and as i've been more involved in developing process in croatia and organizing the work and all that i have seen great chance for myself to help aiff uh, organizing improving developing and getting results with those young players who are coming and knocking on the door uh Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you who were trying to reach me, trying to have an interview before with me, but I was trying to stay calm and uh, to have this opportunity with all of you together uh, to answer all all of your questions and you can you can uh, uh, really trust me that I will be available. I will be honest to you. I will be open and i will always say what i think i will not hide anything from you especially not myself so that is the way i work i operate that's the way i will work with our players and especially i'm happy because i have seen in our technical committee so many ex players and with the help of our president mr patel and and others this wonderful people who were helping me last for 5 days i am expecting good future with the india national team and uh, under 23 and especially with experience with mr isaac who's been all over the world helping in developing football i think we can do great things of course media is very important part of our success and our job if you help us little bit if you give us little bit of time if you stay on our side on our process at the beginning it's going to be much easier for all of us so this is all i'm asking from you to be patient we need to get organized we need to get together all of us because wearing a shirt with indian emblem uh, fighting for india is job for all of us not only for the players on the pitch thank you very much the major objective of every nation is to play in the world cup we cannot deny is an objective is in a dream after spending two weeks in the country and to telling you now that we'll go to the world cup immediately will be a nonsense but the seeds are there 
uh, your nation. It's not the new nation in football. During the 70s, your country, your football, have been one of the top in Asia, and you should be proud of that. Do we lose the passion? Do we lose the passion during the 20, 30 years? Maybe yes, maybe not. But the most important thing is that now we have the passion, we have the energy uh, to think, to go there. And to create our objectives and realistic one to go there. And I'm sure, and look at me please, I'm sure sooner or later, of course we want as much as we can sooner, if we work very hard at every each level, starting with the grassroots, the support of everyone, as Mr. Igor said, mass media, the government, all the factors involved, if we work together, we can reach the objective because that objective is not only for the Federation, it's a national objective that you, we have the seats to be there. We need to work to organize and to hopefully as soon as we can, we reach there. Football nowadays, if you analyze the World Cup and the last World Cup, you have seen bigger nations and small nations in terms of geographically. I don't want to name that country on that country. But I know one country that uh, Mr. Igor, he knows, in terms of geographically, where they are, but was the number two in the world, the best game. It's not the, you know, everything is possible. Nowadays, there are not small countries and big countries. If we work hard, everything is possible. And I think it's possible. But again, to make this possible, possible, we need to work, all of us. Federations, clubs, leagues, grassroots, government support, everyone. If we work as a unit, possible is possible. If we don't work as a unit, then the possible becomes impossible. Of course, our objective is dream about World Cup. That's how we started with Croatia, as Mr. Isaac mentioned. No one can stop our nation dreaming, our players dreaming, or you dreaming about the World Cup. We are allowed to do so. As strong is our dream, and our belief becomes stronger. But apart from that, hard work needs to be put together with that dream willingness to learn every day, approach to your work, more professionalism as well, more communication. Of course, there are certain problems at the moment between the leagues, between organization, competitions and all that. Everything can be sorted with a good communication. We all can find benefits if we communicate, if we sit down, if we talk. My job will not only be selecting and working with the players of senior team and under 20, 23 team. Already with Mr. General Secretary Kushel Das, we discussed many, many other things we need to do. Going and visiting the clubs, talking to club managers, organizing communication between us on a weekly or monthly basis. It must be an exchange, talking about how to improve football, everything in regards to football in India. I will be available for that and I will give my 100%. Each part of these uh, uh, small jobs I need to do uh, with your help, with help of the players who already, already started working, with everybody from AIFF will give its, its point for us to fulfill our dream. Thank you. First, I need to say I appreciate all Mr. Konstantin has done in the past few years with Indian team, because coming from 170 position in a few year time to 101, it's not easy, you know, in football, in football, things are going rapidly up, rapidly, and we, we need to speed up. We need to speed up. I have seen the games Mr. Konstantin had played. Uh, yeah, we can say that he opted for more defensive football, but his football was adapted to the players he had. 
he's chosen. That was the way, the most, the most effective way to play with those kind of players. Uh, I'll do my best to have more options, to have A, B and C option, to learn my players every time we are together, how we can transform from one option to another one because when the game goes wrong and you're losing one you cannot go sit back and defend you need to transform into another uh, playing system into another concept of the game and try to win the game even you are losing at the moment so we'll be working on that i will not promise you that good things will happen over the night that's illusion it will not with a little bit of luck with the good work and understanding between my staff, players and the people from AIFF who are very supportive will be OK. I see many talented players, great capacities. They are ready to learn and there is, there is time for us to start learning. Thank you. Maybe I would like to, to add something because I was reading also in the mass media, it's more defensive, it's more offensive. One thing we need to understand that we need to build up now a national game model as a nation, how we can play. It's not more attacking or more defending, but one word I want to tell you now in our national game concept will be synchronized. Synchronized is part of the modern football. It means synchronized to, to answer to your question is, when we defend, we think about attack, and when we attack, we think about defending. That it's synchronized, and that we are trying this part of the modern football. Uh, any conflict is not helping. Of course, as I said before, we are here to sit down and talk. I'm here to help. It's not my part of the job to get into communication between the leagues, their organization and all that. My part of the job will be, aside from selecting and working with the players, monitoring what's going on, how the leagues are organized, what can be improved and giving suggestions to my uh, director of the national team to Mr. General Secretary, and they will think about it, you know. But whatever we do, we need to do in everyone's favor. Everybody needs to be happy. ISL people, I league people, all the clubs, all the managers, and whatever we do, it must be in the favor of national team football. Ooh, I watched nearly all the matches last season from, from ISL. Uh, I've been informed by most of the Indian Aero players, by all the players who once were under 17 successful team. I've been informed about uh, some young players who were not playing so much, but they show great capacity. And I recognize from my research as well, five, six players who didn't take the part in Mr. Constantine job, but through my research, I think that they deserve to get chance or not. I'm not going into that, why that didn't happen, but I'm here to give them the chance to prove themselves training with me, working with me and deserving their place in the team. The As many leagues we have better for national football, no? But we need to work together, as I say. Mr. Isaac can tell you more about uh, these things. He is more, more informed about the situation. But how I see the situation? ISL is a league mostly privatized with private owners of the clubs who are investing money. And of course, whoever is investing money, he is expecting to gain the money, which is normal. I league has been there for many years. And I league has something which ISL cannot buy. It's tradition. You cannot buy tradition. It will take 100 years to become traditional league for ISL. So working on those things, how the things could be matched together between ISL and I league, I can see a window where we can 
where we can maybe find solution to put everything together and find a way to help I-League clubs to speed up in their progression and ISL to get the part of the tradition from which is nowhere to be seen now, you know. I'm happy because in ISL is most of the competitive uh, playing stuff at the moment, but as well uh, there is I League where most of the young players are de developing themselves, and that's good for me. I will go to see I League, ISL League to meet the managers, to talk to them, to see about their working program, how they do, what they work. I will be here to help them. I will be here to give my opinion. I'm not here decision maker on those things, how the league will be organized, but my opinion will be there. Thank you. Thank you for the questions. This, uh, the same questions I've got maybe 500 times in the last two weeks. Uh, one point, very important. Before coming to India, all over the world, in all the mass media, it was a conflictual presentation of the situations. This is not good. From outside, this is not good coming inside in the country. I disagree with the term as a conflict. I, I cannot see it as a conflict. It's not a conflict, it's not a war. As a federations, there is nobody in the federation or in my department to think that league or that league. We are together. And even for myself, in my mind, I don't think this club is from ISL or from I-League. Okay? All we think the Indian football. Of course, you, the mass media, you try to. It's normal to make something more, you know, important for the, for the public. But, as we mentioned in the beginning, we need to work together with you to create a positive environment on where and when we can find the solutions. For our sides as a technical department, if you really want my honest answer, the most important thing is not to have 1,200 games, not the quantity, the quality of the games are the most important. I insist again to that word, the quality of the games. If in one game, example, you have the distance run by the players in average, 12 kilometers, where the maximum speeds is 34.5 kilometers by hour. When the possession of the game is 62 to 38, when the average goals scored by go by games or uh, the skill is there that's the most important then we have a then we can have a comparative approach with all the other leagues in the world how they play the quality is more important than the quantity and we are here to analyze the both factors, the quantity and the quality of the games that we play. Because let me explain something that obviously you know. If in the league, whatever you call the league, but they call it in our leagues, we play an average of 8.5 kilometer speed of playing. And when we go in the international competition for the World Cup, when the opponents, they play 13.2 kilometers in average, it will be difficult to compete with them. And we are here to think how we can improve the quality of the games, whatever are the leagues or the organizer of the leagues. But with my experience, I think it's very important to have a global understanding of ISL League, Super League, I League, Second Division League, and Elite League, Junior League, Sub League, and Grassroots. 
that we need to create that kind of uh, system. And again, to have not one eye, four eyes on the quality of the game. That's the most important. First microcyclus uh, has been finished. So we, we've done testing on our players. You know that we are in the time on off season. They are on holiday. So the most important thing for me was to get the results of the tests about their physical condition. Uh, now during the day uh, and tonight I will finish the working plan about how much intensity I can put on the training sessions for them because that's part of the job. I must think not to uh, send these players back injured to their clubs. So they will be properly trained. We don't have much time, of course. In next two days, I need to decide about 25, 26 players who will stay and work until the end of the camp with us, who will be the most valuable for this tournament. And before we leave, 1st of June, there will be final list of 23 players. I need to say that my uh, our players are uh, in good condition. I'm quite satisfied with most of them, how they've done the tests. It's nothing, nothing special, really, just tests about explosive power, endurance test, uh, some agility test. And next few days we'll be working on more technical things, improving the realization on the pitch, scoring effects, combinations, and we need to decide, of course, uh, which way we're going to play our football. Thank you. We speak every day. <laughs> I speak with all our players every day. I need to do that. That's, that's my approach. I need to get information from that. And of course, Sanil is very valuable to our team. He's a role model for these young players who are knocking on the door. Uh, he's played so many games. He's so experienced, scored so many goals. But as well as others, he needs to fight for the place in the team. You know, we all start from zero. Uh, football is like that. You don't get paid for the past. You get paid for today job. That's it. As successful as you are today, tomorrow you get your chance once again. So uh, I expect not only from Sanil, from German Pret, from uh, Jingan, to be a role model to young players in a positive way, not in a negative way. Because they are the ones who are looked for. Young players, they always look what they do, what Sanal is doing, what Jingan is doing. So I'm quite happy with their behavior up until now. And I strongly believe that we will work together for as much as he plays as he did before. Okay, I, I can tell you above on research I have done. You know, I have seen few things which I can consume in lack of concentration during the games, uh, lack of tactical, tactical movement, tactical uh, uh, knowledge in the game, and reaction, reaction on the second ball, which is probably the most important ball in football today. We were not good at it, we need to say that. Uh, there were too many times conceding goals because of lack of concentration. What was the reason? I don't know. I wasn't with the players at that time. Uh, and especially this effect where we need to win the second ball will be very important for us. To do that, you need to have concentrated players in the middle of the pitch. You need to have quick players, players with a great agility, capacity uh, and with good speed. Of course, the heart is very important. We need to have tigers and lions there together, you know. So we're going to work on that. Um, of course, I've got the, the time to talk with the previous uh, technical <coughs> director. Are, uh, I've been informed, I was watching also the games and have been done very good things at that time. And now, as also Igor mentioned, we are not here to criticize or 
to assess the past. I think we have enough experience to learn from the past. And when we want to create a national game model, I want you to understand that it's not Isaac or Igor that make a copy paste of this concept. Already I started with the national team coaches. We got a meeting a few days ago in Goa to discuss, to implement the way that we want to play as a nation. Of course, there are principles of the game, the modern game, as he mentioned, synchronized or possession or power or personality of the player that definitely should be implemented in the national concept of the game model or the game philosophy. But this we need to discuss, I need to discuss with all the people. And in this panel of discussion, I'm not going to talk only with the coaches now. I will invite players that in the 70s play. And trust me, I was watching a game from the 70s in terms of the quality of the game. If you see the mispasses that were done in the 70s and now, I don't want to say we're up and down, but we have the seeds to play football in India. Now we need to all of us to create a national game concept to make us more competitive at international and to reach the World Cup. If you ask me personally now, I believe, I'm a strong in believer in the national genes of India. You are very agile people. You have the tempo of the movement. Don't forget you have the, the best dancer in the world. Seriously. Now the, the, the movements are there. The passion now is there. We need to, you know, to add a little bit more uh, knowledge, update it, the coaching factor, the coaching education. That is a tremendous uh, job now, important as a national, we call, you know, um, for me, is uh, one of the, the most important thing now to work with the national coaching schools to develop the, the, the coaches and the, to be updated, to be a normal coaches. And we'll create that concept and philosophy as we want to play as a nation. And I give you one example, whatever it is. I don't want to repeat again, I league or ISL or second division. But okay, in the inter-village league, to avoid this. We have one game. When you have 128 attacking actions. And in another game from inter-village, in 90 minutes, we have 20 actions, attacking action. Which one? The funds will like it. Which one you, as an you know, as the Indian people, you like it? Of course, with the action. I don't want to say that you are a cricket uh, nations. No, you are a movement nation, a dynamic nation. And sure, you like the actions. And what we want to create, a, you know, a competitive game, a modern game, and synchronized, will be also one of the principles of the national concept. But then it depends how we take this concept to the 19 to 17 and the 15 and the golden age we call, you know, grassroots, how we call it here, and the 8 and the 10 and under 12. And we have all these, uh, not objectives, uh, I brought today this, you can have it, a strategical plan that it's public in the website, even we bring, you can have it some, is a strategical goal of us. And they are very well defined there, what we need to uh, want. And this national concept will be done as soon as we can. Of course, we need to have the technical people that create that with the engine, with the national team managers with all the other coaches from now and the coaches that and players that have been in the 70s in the 80s and let's create let's have our objective how we want to play the game how you want how we want to dance the dancing 
That is the most important thing. We have the, the strategical plan to cover everything. Just now we need to create, to choose the, the, the most important principles and to define it, to, and to represent the nations. It's okay, sorry it was long, yes, that's okay. After testing the players, no, after seeing the players, of course, of course. I told you that I need to take care about their fitness capacity at this stage because we don't need any injuries at this moment. So on top of my uh, their test results and together with my staff, we're going to produce a most quality working plan for the next eight, nine days, which we can use to get in optimal form at this stage of the season for the tournament, tournament where we need to play two games. You know. Of course, you all know that we have some problems in defense. We don't have enough competitors for the positions in defensive, especially in center-back positions. Uh, we need to work on that. I need to find a way to cover those positions with more competitors, with more players who will be there competing for the place in the team. And that's at the moment first problem I am facing because all good results starts with good defending.